thank you in Sanida's ballet company and your amazing dancers and artists. That was phenomenal. Thank you. So the first speech of the evening is quite intriguing as it's about a quiet revolution happening in science today. Our scientific culture has realized that the most profound unsolved problem in modern science is how to include consciousness into our understanding of how reality works. This is bringing the oneness at the center of our scientific and religious worldviews to the forefront. And this perspective is at the foundation of the newly accredited California Institute for Human Science, located right here in Encinitas. We will be able to get a glimpse into this scientific perspective on oneness and science by our first speaker, Dr. Thomas Brophy. Thomas Brophy is president of the California Institute for Human Science, CIHS. He holds MS and PhD degrees in physics from the University of Colorado Boulder and the honors graduate from the Colorado College. Dr. Brophy's academic and scientific backgrounds include work on NASA's Voyager spacecraft project and as a National Science Foundation exchange scientist at the University of Tokyo. Dr. Brophy is the author of several books, including The Mechanism Demands uh, Mysticism and The Origin Map. And he is co-author of Black Genesis, The Prehistoric Origins of Ancient Egypt. He has published peer-reviewed articles in premier scientific journals, including Science, Icarus, and IEEE -E -E Journal. And his work has been featured in Nature. Dr. Brophy has presented at numerous scientific conferences and consciousness events. His research in the field of archaeoastronomy has been featured in television shows and documentaries. He's also president of the Society for Consciousness Studies. He first connected with CIHS founder, Dr. Hiroshi Motoyama in 1995 as a Motoyama Bento Research Fellow. At CIHS, he teaches science and consciousness related courses. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Thomas Brophy, President of California Institute for Human Science, the only accredited university headquartered in Encinitas. Thank you so much, Sori. Yeah, what a wonderful performance to, to follow. Yeah. I'm Thomas Brophy, president of California Institute for Human Science, located right here in Encinitas. Oneness and science. What a wonderful topic to talk about. Thank you so much for inviting me. So let's go to the second slide. Did you see in the news this week? Yeah this extraordinary new photo of the black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. It is in the constellation Sagittarius. So if you're outside at night, then you can locate the constellation Sagittarius. Uh, you'll see roughly where this uh, black hole, supermassive black hole is in the sky. Physicists call black holes singularities in the fabric of space and time, where space-time is infinitely warped and infinitely dense. It's now suspected that these supermassive black holes that are at the centers of all of the galaxies may be primordial, formed at the Big Bang of creation. If so, then in a sense, they are all connected as one. And we really don't know what might be going on inside of them. There's no way to know. Also, there is radiation, light from the Big Bang continuously bathing us 
and the whole universe. And through quantum mechanics, we know that those photons, the light from the Big Bang, are entangled with the Big Bang until they are consciously observed. So that is one type of oneness in science, astrophysical oneness. There's another type of oneness that science is now becoming more and more involved with, consciousness. That is what the title of that book is referring to, The Mechanism Demands of Mysticism. That's a quote from one of the founders of quantum physics, uh, Louis de Broglie, pointing out that the mechanisms of quantum physics that governs how the physical world works shows that there is something mysterious going on in the physical world, a mystery that physics alone cannot answer. Other great minds of science of the time uh, uh, noted this same thing. Niels Bohr, Werner Heisenberg, Albert Einstein. And whatever is going on within that mystery has something to do with consciousness. And now, today, there's a quiet revolution happening in science. Our scientific culture is realizing that the most profound unsolved problem in modern science is how to include consciousness into our understanding of how reality works, how the world works. This is bringing the oneness at the center of our scientific and religious worldviews to the forefront. And this perspective is at the foundation of California Institute for Human Science uh, as well. So slide three, pretty, please. This is an exciting development. When consciousness is restored to having a fundamental role in scientific investigation, vast new categories of phenomena and processes are likely to be discovered. I think this situation could be seen as analogous to the golden age of planetary exploration. My early scientific career was planetary astrophysics. I was privileged to be with the Voyager 2 team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory during the Neptune flyby when the close-up images of the planet Neptune came in. Neptune was just a point of light in the sky before we sent the spacecraft to see it close up. When the close-up images finally came in, scientists were amazed to discover all the detail and activity. And even on Neptune's moons, such as Triton. And the same thing happened with all the planetary encounters, such as uh, discovering the volcanic uh, uh, eruptions on Io, the, one of the moons of Jupiter. So with new tools and new ways of observing, entirely new, sometimes astonishing phenomena are discovered. As science focuses more on consciousness, an analogous thing is likely to happen. Uh, slide four, please. There have been times in the past when there was focus on consciousness exploration. This temple painting from the Silk Road about 2,000 years ago shows a Western monk teaching to an Asian monk a hand mudra, a type of yogic mindfulness practice. The current new focus on consciousness promises to be exploration on a whole new level because of all the modern instrumentation and methods that we now have. And those who have explored deeply into consciousness from within the esoteric and experiential branches of really all the major traditions and religions have reported that the deeper one goes into consciousness, mindfulness, the more unitary the experience becomes. So this is the oneness that science is now embarking on uh, discovering, as I see it. Thank you so much. <laughs>